Well, now let's get a check in on how bond markets are trading with Jessica Russett, Director of uh, Australian Dollar Facilitation at FIG Securities. Jessica, thanks for joining us. Now, let's talk US Treasuries first. What's happening there, particularly as geopolitical tensions? Well, they may take a breather, but, you know, they're still very much around. Hi, thanks for having me. That's right. Last night we did see a brief um, change to the rally that we have been seeing in US Treasury yields at the moment. And that was because there was, in the prior trading session, uh, it hit its five-month low and clients were taking profits with that. And so what we saw was the 10-year yield rise five basis points to 2.21% and we saw the two-year unchanged. So at the moment, for most of this year, those, um, the 10-year yield has been trading within a 2.3 to 2.6 trading range. It's broken through the lower end of that and it seems to be trading 2.2 to 2.5 and doesn't seem to be much support for it to move much higher away from that. OK, now what about Australian government bond yields? They've gone higher too, haven't they? Yeah, that's right. So once again, expect this to be short-lived, uh, but we did have seen that the five and ten year are three and five basis points high respectively. So the five years at 2.08 and we have the ten years at just over two and a half percent at the moment. But once again we, ha we expect that they will continue to rally uh, just with the uncertainty in the markets at the moment. Uh, since the beginning of March the ten year yield has actually rallied 47 basis points which is quite a significant move and also with those unknown uh, French elections on Sunday on the, for the week ahead, we expect that there will be demand for safe haven assets and the yields will remain low on bonds. Yeah, so how do you think that's really going to affect markets going forward? Because, of course, that's only the first round and then we've got the second round of the French, French election in May. That's right. I think once the uh, initial first round on Sunday, I think once the results out of that will certainly uh, give more certainty to investors and also to the markets as well. So we have, uh, at the moment, it seems to be a four-horse um, candidate campaign for that. And out of that, it'll get down to two candidates. Uh, and so then going forward, I think we'll have a, a better idea still expect though there to be uncertainty in the market so there's also those geopolitical risks that do uh, pop up and as such we will have you know demand for safe haven assets all right jessica russett from fig securities thanks so much for that